All right, uh, hey everyone, uh, friends, random people on YouTube, whoever's watching this. Uh, I'm just gonna demo off the new version of my uh, Google Voice application. I know it says 1.3.1, but don't let the numbers fool you. It's still pretty much beta. There's still a lot of problems. Uh, for the most part, it works. I, I labeled it as 1.0 when I moved it to a standalone app before it was using PHP. Uh, but now everything is contained within the app IDs, some libraries. Um, so other than that, it uh, works pretty well, so I'll show you how it goes. So as you can see, I made this wannabe growl looking frame. It's kind of transparent. Uh, I still need to add a timer on it. It'll just stay up there until you click it. it grabs your computer name and says hello, whatever. Um, so you can uh, you can actually use a proxy. So if you need to use a proxy, you can do that. Uh, so I'll go ahead and log in. Uh, over here, and the password, I still haven't um, actually used asterisks for yet, so yeah, you just have to type it in there. I haven't really hidden it yet. So up here, oh, okay, that's wonderful. Let's try that again. Yeah, I did that on purpose. So, <laughs> um, lets you know what's going on up here. Um, I'm gonna tell someone to send me a text so you can see what happens when uh, when someone texts me. But I can change the refresh rate so it checks more often. So I can say like every three seconds or so. And. Uh, if you watch the icon, it should change to an exclamation point, and then we should get a new text, whatever it's called, SMS. Yes, that one of those. And if they don't text me back within a couple seconds, I'll just simulate what it looks like when I get one, which I think I'm going to do right now. So I just. Marked one, there we go. <laughs> and I just got two, of course. Okay, so there's the one that she just sent me. Um, if I click, or actually if I right click, if you're on Windows you just double click, but in Mac you have to right click. It redirects you to your Google Voice account, so that just opened up my browser, which is on the other screen. And, uh, that's, I mean, that's pretty much it. There's not much to it. Um, it's pretty, pretty straightforward. It, it, I mean, it'll say if it's SMS or voicemail. So, if you mark a voicemail in red, one new voicemail, and then we'll do, oh, like a missed call. If you miss a phone call, Uh, missed call. So, nothing that exciting. So, I mean, I'm sure there's better programs out there, probably better Java programs actually, but um, I don't know. I just wanted to make it really. I thought it was kind of fun making it, even though it took a long time. So, that's pretty much it.